Good morning. Best regards from Summit County, Colorado. I'm here for a wedding which will be on Saturday. Everyone is coming in on Thursday. I arrived on Tuesday and rented a mountain bike, rented a cargo trailer, loaded all my gear into that trailer, and I gotta meet my friends somewhere near Breckenridge tomorrow. Okay, so uh, I got all my gear packed up. The campsite is nice and clean. Part of coming out stealth camping or anything outdoors, it's all about leave no trace. And just to show my respect for using this general area, so the best I can do is just go ahead and keep it the way it was, except for this one flat section where the tent was laying down that created the uh, grass to sort of smooth out. Yeah, it's gonna take off. All right, let's see. So this is the road we took. This is the road to Breckenridge, right here, the Tiger Road, all the way down. Uh, probably camp right there. The idea was to ride all the way down this road, hop on the trail, and get up here. But apparently, it looks like I passed that, and uh, I am round right here. Time check. It's 2:37. Uh, over there, there's some clouds. Kind of hear some thunder, but nothing that will, nothing to cause any worries. This general section actually seems a very good spot to set up my tent. There's even a fire ring right here, so I can even have a small fire. Uh, as you see, there's a beautiful pond with a mountain overlook. Um, so this is actually by far a very good spot. I might have to come back and camp here tonight. I'm going to go ahead and explore further down the road um, because I'm very close to the Colorado Trail. I'm just going to, so this will be my now my plan B, which it's always good to pre-scout uh, pre-scout areas where you may need to camp. So just say if it just started raining, I know I can rush back here and I know there's a spot waiting for me.
what happens. The storm's coming through. I'm messing with the camera. I forgot to stake down the tent. So, starting to rain. cold to hear the thunder. So, I had to move my tent for the third time. All the rain coming up in that general direction from that flat top. It's all draining down this direction. Over to right there. My tent was right here. So I had to go ahead and move it because that water was getting to my doorway. So I moved it down here where my bike cargo is now. But I was afraid the water would then make its way downward. So if it would continue to rain all night, my tent may be washed out. Third best option, is right under here and I am close to the border which I'm still thinking as time goes it's going to saturate So time check right now, Alaska time is 7.30, meaning it's 9.30 a.m. here in Colorado. Uh, today is the last day where I'm going to go ahead and get ready to pack up the tent, load the bike in the cargo trailer, uh, and slowly make my way up to uh, Frisco, Colorado. So the past few days has been truly, truly fun, and um, you can never go wrong with life of adventure on the road. Um, it may not seem like a true adventure, but you know, just getting out there and not knowing where you're going to sleep for the night, um, that itself can be very stressful to, to uh, someone, especially someone who is just getting involved with uh, the sport. So spending all day biking and looking at maps, grabbing a snack here and there, uh, chugging some water spending about six to eight hours on the bicycle and then once the sun starts setting that's when you start looking for a camp spot or where you're going to gorilla camp where you just uh, get out of sight out of mind set up the tent go to or cook dinner go to sleep and um, wake up in the next morning drink some coffee drink some breakfast and then pack up and hit the road again for another five to six to eight hours and that cycle just repeats
So uh, I'm getting very close to Frisco. The ride did not take as long as I thought it would be. In fact, I probably could have squeezed in that lap on the Colorado Trail. But hey, you know, I still had a great time. Um, so I'm getting very close to town. This is pretty much the wrap up the, of the trip. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and beeline it and beeline it to town, return the bike, return the trailer. Um, yeah, it was a great experience in almost in over 48 hours. Uh, yeah, roughly 48 hours now. Uh, this trip has been a cool, cool weekend adventure. Um, so now I got to. After I return the bike, go ahead and jump on the shuttle, head down towards Breckenridge. I talked to my buddies. They will be here around in the next couple of hours. So by the time I drop the bike off, catch the shuttle, and get down towards Breckenridge, I'm just gonna go hang out at a brewery, have a beer, and uh, just hang out. But yeah, good times.